Hi guys, well as promised, I'm sharing that chicken dish with you because we are having it tonight. So I thought I would just show you how I'm doing it. Again, there's no real recipe, but I will put this on my blog as well. So these are just the ingredients. And as I said before, you can switch this out with um, cream of mushroom if you want, but I decided to use this again. You'll need some sour cream. I usually use a little bit of garlic powder and then I used a little bit of this Montreal steak seasoning. Of course, you don't have to have this. You can use everything individually like salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, but I just like using a little bit of this. It's easy. I, um, again, like I showed in the one video, I think this could take up to six chicken breasts and still have enough sauce for everything. But again, I just eyeball the measurements. So um, I'm going to use four chicken breasts tonight so that we have leftovers and then any kind of white wine. I didn't really care for drinking this, so I've just left it in the refrigerator and then that way I use it whenever I need things like this to cook with. I have a baking dish here. It's roughly about 13 by nine. Um, use whatever you have because obviously you're just gonna put the chicken in and then put everything on top of it. And then a mixing bowl um, for everything and I'll show you that here in a minute. I have my oven preheating. Um, I'm gonna actually use convection because my oven runs not as hot. So I'm gonna run it convection at 375 and it will be about 40, 45 minutes. Of course, do what your oven, you know, if it cooks on time, it may not need that long, um, or it may still need about the same time. I always use a meat thermometer afterwards to check the temperature just to make sure with anything anyway, but. Okay, so I added the um, can of soup mix, you can see there, and then I just added three big, um, I don't know, what do you call it, like tablespoons kind of heaping of sour cream. Again, I just eyeball this. It would probably, I don't know, maybe be half a cup more. Um, it's probably a little bit less than this. Again, I just eyeball everything, but to give you an idea. And then I'm gonna mix this up and show you, and then I'll add some seasoning as well. Okay, as you can see, I stirred everything up. So this is what it will look like. And I added a little bit of the Montreal steak seasoning. And now I'm just gonna add some wine. And again, this was just eyeball, but I do wanna thin this out because it's very thick. So, you know, just a couple of good squigs and then I'm gonna stir it up and see if it's thin enough and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I stirred it up and I just put in another splash of wine. It is still thick, but it will thin out in the oven once it gets hot. And don't be afraid when you first add the wine, it will separate the sour cream slightly, but when you mix it all together, uh, it will come back together again. So I'm just gonna finish mixing this. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the bottom and then the chicken. Okay, so I put a little bit on the bottom, just a couple of spoonfuls. You don't have to do that, but I just did. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder on the chicken breast. Okay, I'm trying to do this one hand, so I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> it's kind of in line. And then I'm gonna use um, the Montreal steak seasoning. It's hard to hold the camera one hand and watch what you're doing. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the mixture to the top. Okay, so this is what it looks like with everything poured on top. And again, it will thin out a bit in the oven when it warms up. That's why I said, I believe this mixture, even though I'm using this size baking dish and it was just right for four, you could use a bigger baking dish because I think the amount of mixture, the sauce, will be enough for six chicken breasts, so. Okay, one more thing I did forget. Last time I did cover it with foil. So make sure you cover it in foil before you put it in the oven. Okay guys, this is what it looks like finished and this is plated. I put a little bit of sauce over our steamed broccoli and this is the chicken rice I've shown in grocery hauls before. Again, like I said, the sauce will thin out when you cook it so there's plenty of sauce to add extra and if you also wanna add two more chicken breasts. So hopefully this helped you and let me know if you guys make it again. This was all about just kinda letting you know the ingredients, not so much like the measurements because that's just not how I cook. So I hope you found this helpful let me know if you make it and thanks so much for watching